especially people coming for security jobs in these Gulf countries. You may find some countries are not so strict, but other countries may be a little bit strict with who they are recruiting for a particular role. In some countries or some Gulf countries like Dubai, you undergo a little bit of training, you undergo a little bit of uh, uh, some questions or some other training registrations and licenses for you to be a fully security, registered security guard. That is approved when you have a license. To the other, other countries, they may not be a little bit very, very, very so strict, but still it does not stop you to use the opportunity at the time to have it. And this is exactly what I'm talking about. As earlier I promised you that I'll take through, I'll take you through to some of these simple uh, firefighting equipments that you need to know. They may not need you to go to a school. They may not need you to someone to teach you or someone to force you to pay up fees, to pay up money, to learn some of these basics. But the platform that we get to share here is the only way that we need to learn. In today's video, I want us to go and try to see what is a fire rail station. What does it contain? What does it have? Most of you have been to the buildings, you've been to those buildings, you've been to those hotels. Those designated areas are always there. You may bypass them at one moment of time. You may need to take a lot of portions, but they're quite very important. As a security guard, you should know. And your employer, he expects you to know some of those small, uh, some of those firefighting equipments. Remember, I told you, when you fall to a good company, it will be a good company. When you fall to a bad company, you will be a bad company. And remember, some companies don't give what you call induction training to their employers. But remember, in some situation of instance, you have to do what you call self-discovery in one or the other. So in today's video, let us try to go and see what is a fire rail station. What does it have? What did you find there? And if we can try to break down some of the few uh, equipment inside there, such that you can know that this works like this and this is what last thing. By the way, don't forget to support this channel by subscribing to this channel and clicking the notification bell. It's the only way you'll be updated when I upload a new video. Let's go right into the fire rate sessions and see what it contains. Right, welcome back to, uh, to, to the video. Let's see. In, in some, some areas, on some buildings, some of you might have seen such kind of thing like this. On top, it's just written on the fire extinguisher. It may be demarcated by different color or a different creation. To some situation, it may look like a closed door. It may look like a room that you may take it. You may not take it so much serious. But to people who know, there's something inside them that we want to see. There's something very important inside that small room that you may not check every day which you must know or which knowledge you must keep updated with yourself. So let us try to, to check and see what happens, what is inside that small locked door which has a fire extinguisher signage on top. Remember, the signage may be of the different color and this is what it is. Why are they put in such kind of colors? For someone to easier read that in case of this an emergency, someone can really locate where there is a fire extinguisher or where there is that important equipment that should be used at that particular time. Right? So let's go into inside then we open and see what it is. So we open up the door. When you open up the door, this is exactly what happens. Oh, this is what is inside. Most of you, you might have not seen what is inside. That is inside, that is what is inside that closed door. Right? So, we go inside and see. Inside we have what we call a fire hose box. That one with a long pipe. We have what we call a fire hose pipe, which is just right now down that side. 
we also have fire extinguishers in. There may be different fire extinguishers that are also put as part of the emergencies to use. Remember, these are inspected and always checked by the responsible or the trained consult people for maintenance in case there is a default in one way or the other. But this does not stop you from knowing how to use it or how to use or knowing what is the importance of this document or the importance of this equipment and why it is in this box at this period of time. Why? Because you never know in an emergency. You may be the hero of tomorrow to save the lives of others and this is what we are talking about. So when we look at what we call a fire hose box, that is what we call a fire hose box. But remember, this is what we call a fire hose rail station. All these equipment inside here are in what we call a fire hose rail station. That's what I would call it. Because they're inside one box, right? So what do we have? This is a knot turn on. This is a knob that turns on the water that will come through the fire hose and that will be mixed with carbon dioxide that will use the pressure to dispose of the power. This is the knot. It opens and closes. So remember, when we talk about when we talk about the hose, when we talk about the hose pipes, this is what we call the hose pipe. This one we call it the hose pipes. Uh, we have this other type of the hose pipes that is uh, an entrenchment. Remember, there are several types of hose designed specifically for the fire service. There are those designed to operate under pressure what we call positive pressure are called what we call discharge hose pipes. And there are those that the those that those that include what we call the hole, the attack hose, the supply hose, the forest hose and the booster hose. Those are type of that hose pipes that are designed to operate under pressure. But remember they are also what we call those hose pipes that are designed to operate under negative pressure and normally they are called what we call the sanction hoses. So I think that is just for your information that you should know what we call is a sanction hose pipe then what we call a solution that operates under different modules. So this is how it looks like. This is how the pipe looks like. Okay, It is attached to other pipe then that one has uh, different types of meters or it can serve a given long period or it can it has a given length that has to serve so when it is attached to this one it will be directed to a particular area where they need to 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 get off the fire at that time but remember we talked about the endorsement pressures that are always there the nozzles i think you can look at those nozzles all right inside the box i told you there's something that you need also to know which is what we call a fire extinguisher all right this is what we call a fire extinguisher remember i'll also talk about what you call a fire extinguisher how to use the fire extinguisher may depend on which class of fire a b c or d which class of fire but remember this also must have what you call an emergency fire extinguisher. And this is what you call the fire extinguisher. It has a knob door that will be, it will show you whether it's active or expired and needs to check. And it has a pin, right? So it will depend on which kind of class of fire that it has to turn off. And it is normally checked by what we call response people in charge of fire to try to see that their activity and their in with the soil at the time. And remember that in this fire extinguisher or the fire hose box, there are two different types of fire extinguisher put inside just in case of an emergency or in case anything that happens at a time. So this is something that you need to know that as you're trying to patrol or whatever you, you go, wherever you're being deported or put as 
you try not to forego or not to underestimate such kind of things. You need to know at a given period of time. Hope guys, you've tried to share something, you've tried to know. Uh, don't forget to tune in in the next video. We try to see how can you use a fire extinguisher. It is quite, maybe a little bit or maybe a look, look a little bit easier, but we shall learn how to use a fire extinguisher. Okay. So thank you so much for coming back to this channel. Thank you so much to do this and watching video to this channel. See you again in the next video as we try to see other other fire fighting equipment and the basic skills of the basic knowledge that you need to have. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video. It's next from the next creation.